What's up, people? It's your man, Urban Lover, coming from your mama's basement. Well, trapped in your mama's basement. She won't let me out because she said I ain't got nothing to talk about. She said until I decide to make some videos and talk about some good topics, she's not going to let me out. So I had to dig in and I dug up and I digged up some squirrels, some elephant ears, and some tiger legs. And I came in with some little scoop, which makes me happy and also should make some of these fans who love the Young Lakers happy as well. But before I do that, I want to give a shout out to my man Dominic Chester. He follows me on Twitter. He actually threw out an um, article for me dealing with uh, Chris Tats Persingas about the rumors of him and uh, Paul George, uh, a blockbuster trade that you know could go down. Now, me personally, um, I know a lot of you guys who've been following me already know how I feel about um, a lot of rumors. A lot of times I get on here and I basically put these rumors to rest. You know, before I actually go into them, I look at it, look at the scenario, look how much the other teams are willing to give up. Um, just everything that goes into play with it before I even make that decision. So I don't believe that, I don't believe there's going to be a move with Chris Tazpasingas. Uh He's too much of a franchise player for New York for the New York Knicks. If anything, they'll get Pat, um, Pat uh, Phil Jackson out of there before they get rid of him. You know, and that that's what's basically going to happen. But what I want to talk about, you know, and like I said, Dominic, thank you for the video uh, for the article, my friend. Just want to put it to rest. And plus, my man Dan, the Laker fan, he actually made a, a video about um, Chris Tazpasingas. If you're not following, definitely follow him. I'm a, sorry, guys. I'm a little bit uh, under the weather. But let me get into this real quick. So there was an article that came out. And this article is actually from no other than uh, SB Nation. Um, Silver Scream and Roll. So in this article, it's written by Anthony Irwin, L.A. And it said, Lakers Free Agency. Magic Johnson wants to save future cap space for superstars like Paul George. First and foremost, I want to say this to my man, Magic Johnson. If you watch my videos, I'd like to say thank you, Magic. Thank you. If this is true, I just want to say thank you. You're using your head and not using your money. It's a smart move. I know a lot of old fans like myself, but I'm with the young generation right now. But a lot, I know a lot of old fans would prefer that you this year go out and get, you know, go out and spend that money or make some trades to get a couple of uh, free agents. But let's be real. I mean, what do we have on the market? You know, Chris Paul, Millsap. Um, you know, Griffin, I know a lot of people want them, but come on, most of them players are resigning back with their team. Kevin Durant, Curry, you know, most of them will probably resign back with their team. Simple as that. So you really don't have anything. And like I said before, why go after a player who don't want to be here? Just because it's the money. Screw the money. You don't want to be here? Don't go after them. That's how I look at it. At the end of the day, Paul George basically told you that he's hell-bent of coming here. So if PG-13 want to come here, why not wait for him and get them for free? Now, even if Boston, um, not Boston, I'm sorry, even if the, the Pacers try to, like, you know, um, send them to another team, remember, he don't have to sign an extended contract. He can hold out. He don't have to sign an extended contract, especially if he don't want to go to where they want to send him. You know, so basically, you know, this is last year. He don't have to sign an extended contract, my friend. So we're not going to lose out on it, even if other teams you know, want him or whatever it may be. You know, he already said, he made up his mind, he want to come here. The only thing I would say to Magic Johnson is that, Instead of having Mozgov and um, and Lou Aldane, let's get PG and Demarcus Cousins. That's a good mix match, right? I mean, that's a good match right there. A match made in heaven. The the Honey Weathers. I, that's what I would do. That that's me personally. But one thing I'm gonna read. Let me read this article to you guys, and I want y'all guys to chime in and tell me what you think. Because like I said, you know, you got the, some of the old head Laker fans. They prefer that the Lakers go ahead and you know. Get these, uh, you know, these superstars now and give up some of our young assets for them. Me personally, I want to see a dynasty. Like I said, I watched the Lakers from '79 when I was, just, you know, in my freaking uh, diapers. You know, still letting out big turds from '79 all the way up to now. You know, so I watched Magic Johnson them how they ran the whole '80s up to up to '90, 90, '91. I watched them. You know what I mean? How you know how they basically just control the whole. They just it was the best team. I mean, the, the freaking, you know, Showtime Lakers. And that was a dynasty. Even with Shaq and Kobe, that was a dynasty. And I wish they would, you know, let bygones be bygones and clear out their egos. That would have been a, uh, another terrific dynasty. These two guys could have won more championships than the five and the three. You know what I mean? But they could have won more if they would just, you know, played together and, you know, kept their egos in, in control. But anyway, I want to see a dynasty. I don't want to see a bandage team. I don't want to see our team go through three or four years and then all of a sudden they be back trying to find pieces to fit back in again. Most of these guys are young. I think we should, you know, work with them. Whoever don't fit the bill, then we can move them. But right now, I think that this year, 
coming up will be the best year for all of them to really show what they got. You know, I said it last year, but I'm saying it this year because this is their second year of being rookies to me. Same thing with Lou Walton. This is his second year, so everybody's going to be under the radar. And I like what Magic John said, so I'm going to get to the article. I'm not going to read all of it, just little, just little um, parts of it. So it's a liquor free agency. Magic Johnson wants to save future cap space for superstars like Paul George. And they say, fans of the Los Angeles Lakers are waiting with bated breath to see what direction Magic Johnson and Rob Pauline could take the organization. The offseason is still in lottery-induced um, holding patterns, but Magic offers some clarity on his intentions. Some have voiced concern that the front office might opt for a big splash for the sake of a splash. Yes, getting something closer to actual NBA talent would make the Lakers more watchable in the immediate future. But has been the case with Luau Ding and Timothy Mosca. The return on such investment rarely worked out. In appearance on ESPN to NBA Draft Combine coverage, he answered questions about how he'll be looking to improve the Lakers this summer. The conversation turned to the roughly $23 million in cash space, which I told y'all guys in the last video, I believe, at the Lakers' disposal, disposal and Magic didn't mince words. This is what Magic John said. Listen closely. We can sign a free agent if we want to. Read it again. We can sign a free agent if we want to. Okay. But, listen, but, listen, but, I am really looking to keep the cap space that we have and really try to play in next year's free agent class. And not really this free agent class. Read it again. And not really this free agent class. This right here, and that's what he said. So this right here clears all the rumors. All the rumors. So any rumors that people are putting out right now, if Magic Johnson stick to what he just said, we're not going to see none of these young guys being traded. And that's the best thing I can say because why Why give up your assets, right? When Paul George is going to be a free agent at the end of the season. DeMarcus Cousin, if you don't sign an extended contract with the Pelicans, will be a free agent at the end of the season. This year, we get to see, hopefully, Zublock start. You know, Miles come off the bench. Yeah, that's what I would do. I'll let Zublock start, let Miles come off the bench to see where we're at. Let these guys get more playing time and let the old guys come off the bench and back them up. You know, put um, if we get our draft pick, because remember, Magic all said that, that said that they're going to keep the draft pick. I believe in my heart they're going to go after Lonzo Ball, and he's going to play the point, and DeAndre Russell is going to play the two. This is what I'm thinking. The Lakers are going to see what they got, and like I said, at the end of the season, because I believe that the Lakers have a chance to win 40 games this year. I'm, I'm just being honest with you guys. There's no reason for them not to win a lot of games. This year, last year, and year before, yeah, because you want to get back all that you gave up for Steve Nash and Dwight Howard. So you want to get all of them back, your draft picks back. So the Lakers tanking all these years, I respect that because in reality, we needed the, we needed the players. Nobody wanted to come here. I know a lot of people don't want to see us lose, but we got to look at reality. And at the end of the day, that's what it boils down to, reality. So I'm happy for what Magic said. I'm hoping to pray he stick to his word that we'll keep the, all our young players and just bring in a la Paul George and DeMarcus Cousin when they're free agents at the end of this season coming up. It makes much sense. Why give up all your players when you're not getting nothing? That, when you're going to get players regardless if, you know, why give all your players when you're going to get players regardless? It's, it just makes sense. And players want to come here. And at the end of the day, you want to build a, a dynasty. You don't want to build a band age team that's only going to last four to five years. You want to build a dynasty that's going to last for 10 years. These young guys, like I'm saying, what we got right now, a good squad of young guys. We just need the right veterans around them. And DeMarcus Cousin and and PG-13, to me, are the best veterans that's going to be on the board next year. So it makes perfect sense. So I want to say kudos to Maddie Johnson. I love you, brother. I hope and pray you stick to your word. For those that want, um, you know, the Band-Age um, players this year, I'm telling you guys it's best to just wait. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, let's be real. Who are they going to beat? I mean, if we get Chris Paul or just say Blake Griffin, I mean, they, they struggling in L.A. right now. So who are we going to beat? I mean, I'd rather keep these young guys and bring two veterans in that should have been in replace of Miles and Lou Aldane anyway. So I'm hoping that they get find a way to get rid of Miles and Lou Aldane. Whatever they do, find a way to get rid of them, you know what I mean, and just bring in PG-13 and DeMarcus Cousin. And that's based on what we look like after this uh, after this season. So we can see what we need from there. But most likely, PG-13, 9 times 10 is going to come to L.A. He's just going to come. The money's going to be good. And once we get around Lou Aldain, we'll have enough money to sign him. So with that being said, it's your man, Urban Lover. Like, share, subscribe. Get in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this topic. Do you think Magic Johnson is going to stick to his guns? 
and, and keep our assets and basically wait until the next season? Or you think that he's just throwing us shades and eventually going to make a trade at the end of the at, uh, after the end of the season is over? Let me know what you guys think. And do you really do you really are enjoyable enjoying the part that he said that he's going to wait? Or are you a fan that said, you know what, we need to make trades now? I just want to hear what you guys got to say. Love you guys. Be safe out there. Take care. Have a blessed one. I got to go. My, my voice is horse's crap. Take care, y'all.